So do you want a faster laptop without having to spend a single cent about hardware upgrades? I know you're gonna love the next few minutes, let's get started! Hello my dear friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael and I'm so happy to see you again. Today we're going to talk about how to speed up your laptop if it's running Windows or respectively how to speed up your personal computer. And yeah, that's another new and fresh tutorial from our side. So if you're enjoying to watch and see this kind of practical data solutions, then please make sure to subscribe to our channel. Now, kickstarting today's video. And when we talk about Windows and when we talk about personal computers and laptops, you know how it works, you buy it. And at the start, everything is fabulous and great. But in a few months time, you start to feel that the operating system is getting a little slower, you know, day by day. You try to open documents and they're taking more and more seconds and that is really annoying. But we have a cure, so what can we do in order to speed things up? Let's start. If you've also become frustrated due to a slow Windows PC, we're here to help you. In this video, we're going to talk about the various methods to improve computer performance without having to buy any unnecessary tools or hardware components. Keep in mind that these methods are going to work for all Windows laptops, regardless of the version of Windows that you're running. So without any further ado, let's start and take a look at the Windows Updates option. Keeping your system up to date is one of the best ways to make your Windows faster. That's currently easier to handle with Windows 10. And make sure to check Microsoft's website to figure out which are still the supported revisions of Windows. All the updates that Microsoft releases have huge impact on Windows security as well as on the performance. So if your system has any pending Windows updates, let that be the thing that we begin with. You can also check for updates manually. Let's go to Settings. Let's go now to Update and Security. Click on Windows Update. Apart from this, you can also configure the system to automatically download all the new updates. This is going to ensure that your system is up to date all the time without you having to do any necessary steps. Secondly, we'll talk about RAM because RAM is extremely important for good performance. And it works in a very simple way. RAM is much faster than any other kind of storage, so these applications which are most important are staying opened in the RAM and as soon as the operating system needs to call them, they're ready. Thing is that when these apps are getting more and more and more, the operating system will start to shut down some of these apps or probably they will take longer time to load. Therefore, we can try closing these apps which are not entirely necessary and very often in the system tray we have a handful of these. To do so, go ahead, explore which ones you don't really need, right click and select exit or the corresponding option to close the app. If you spend a lot of time online and if you like to serve and download a lot of files then you're familiar with the possibility of virus attacks and different threats that come with these downloaded files and yeah most likely we're all using some sort of antivirus software. Thing is that a lot of these dedicated antivirus softwares are very heavy for the operating systems. Did you know that Microsoft offers embedded in Windows 10 antivirus protection? Well, if that one is not good enough for you, then make sure to explore how much of RAM and resources your antivirus is actually consuming. And if that's too much, think about alternatives and something which is more lightweight, because that definitely has a huge impact on the performance of your computer. Now I'm going to show you one of my favorite things to do and I do it every several hours. You know, just like your antivirus, there could be a few other apps which are consuming a lot of RAM and a lot of CPU resources. Luckily, Microsoft have given us a powerful tool that can show us which are these exact processes which are consuming the lion's stake you know, of our resources. So let's go ahead, open Task Manager. You can right click on the taskbar and select Task Manager. Go through the tasks list and you can find out which is the application consuming the most. You can also sort these percentages by clicking on the top area of the columns. Based on your analysis, close down the applications that are using too many resources. In order to do so, select the specific application and select End Task. Note that before closing an app, you must be sure that this one is not utilized or used at the moment and you're not going to close any important system processes which are going to lead to a system crash. 
Next, we are going to customize the power plants and the power options, which are more often to be used with laptops. Because sometimes we might have bad performance because our laptop is in power saver mode and this is going to slow down the system unnecessarily. So, in Windows 10, we often recommend you to choose the high performance power plan because this is going to make the CPU work at its full power and apparently provide the best kind of performance. To customize the plan, let's go to Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, Power Options, and then we select High Performance. For older versions of Windows, like Windows 7 and Windows 8, you're going to find these options in the control panel. Just click on them, hit change battery settings, and you're going to be able to adapt these according to your needs. We continue in software direction, and since we're in the control panel anyways, let's go ahead and click on programs and figure out whether there are some apps or programs which we barely use and are good to be uninstalled. Go to programs and features, and you're going to see a list of all the applications installed on the PC. Choose the specific app from the list, select Uninstall, follow the on-screen instructions to remove the programs from your computer. And once they are uninstalled, simply restart your computer and you won't have to deal with slow processing any longer. That's not all of it. We continue to dig deeper with Windows 10. If we have like thousands, hundreds of thousands of files, in a combination with a hard disk drive, which is a bit slower than modern SSDs. Yeah, that can easily lead to bad performance, so let's go ahead and see how we can get rid of some of these files. There's a feature called Disk Cleanup with Windows 10. So, we launch Disk Cleanup by right-clicking the C drive in my computer and then selecting Disk Cleanup. Now, we choose the types of junk that we want to be deleted from the computer, hit the OK button, the cleanup process can take longer, it could be up to 10-15 minutes to remove all these junk files. Once the process is completed, we can restart the laptop in order to increase its performance. If we often deal with slow processing on the laptop, running disk cleanup every now and then is definitely going to be a good idea. If the disk cleanup has helped a bit, but you still have tons of data that you don't really need and use, then we can carry on and purge some of these files manually. But it's very important before deleting anything, make sure to have a backup and make sure that you really don't need any of these files. Now, we can speed up Windows 7 or 8 or 10 if we free up some space by deleting some of the temporary files. This could be a variety of images or audio files or video files that you no longer need. You can remove them and to increase the performance of your computer at the same time, one more good idea is to check the recycle bin, because sometimes it can be full of trash and in case you haven't emptied it for months, it's going to keep a lot of data which is not really entirely deleted from your computer, so just right-click and make sure to empty the recycle bin as well. If there is one thing I can say that I do right at the beginning after I start using a new computer or probably reinstall Windows, it's to eliminate most of the animations and those fancy graphics effects because while they could be really nice and appealing, they do load a lot both the processor and the RAM. Simply head over to the control panel, choose System, tap Advanced System Settings. Now we are in the Performance tab, we go to Settings and from the list of options, you can opt out for the ones that we prefer to remove in order to increase the computer speed in Windows 10. Keep in mind that if you remove some of these features, your Windows might start looking like a basic Windows 2000, but well, I guess there is some romance in that kind of look. Last but not least, and that's very important, but it's only relevant to the people who are running hard disk drive, because it doesn't work like that for SSD. So if you have a hard disk drive or HDD, make sure to frequently use the Disk Defragment option. It's much easier to use it nowadays with the latest Windows. Right now we have Windows 10, you know, we compare it to some older releases of Windows, uh, whereas right now it can be automated and it can be way more effective. In order to activate this Defragmenter, go to this PC, right-click on the hard drive, hit on Properties, go to the Tools, select Optimize. You see, there are so many things we can do on the software side in order to speed up our operating system. We talked about not one, not two, we talked about 10 different ways of how you can improve the performance of your Windows through 
software tweaks. And you know what? If there is something we have missed, or probably you have a favorite thing to do, a favorite software tweak you want to share about, comment below. Let us know what you do in order to keep your windows faster. If you find this tutorial useful, show us your appreciation by hitting the like button. For more practical data solutions, subscribe to the channel and get notified about every new video that we post here. I'm Michael with the recovery team and we're looking forward to see you again in the next episode. Bye!